Buju, Kinemage and Nene, Ireland edition of Kass, and welcome to this reading, Tier 2 Intervention. Today's episode for Mozi the Iceman, Adverbs. All right, before we talk about adverbs, it's always a good idea to reread your story three total times. Coincidentally, we have three days in our intervention week. My first expectation of you is to go back and reread Otzi the Iceman. You are going to be expected to pause the video. I want you to read it. And I want you to pay attention to adverbs. Adverbs, if we get to the other slide here, are words that give information to verbs. They will tell how something was done, when something was done, or where something was done. The example here is the boy ran swiftly to the park. How did he run? Swiftly, which is another word for fast. So we now know that it describes how. Looking at number two on this page, he managed to walk slowly up a hill as he heard the men behind him. Let's grab my annotation tool. How did he walk? You said slowly, you're right. And that would tell us again how. Let's um, find one that has a little bit a different meaning. So we have the man and his son finally walked back to their home. How did the, when did they walk? Fi or finally walked. And that would describe when. I know it doesn't tell you if it's Monday at three o'clock, but that's what that word means. Adverbs will always be attached to the verb. either before or after it. What I'm gonna ask you to do now is pause the video. I want you to read, again, Otzi the Iceman. There's nothing you have to do with it other than kind of look for adverbs. If you're using the, hand, the paper copy, you're welcome to underline five to seven of them as you read. And let's do a practice one here together. Um, well, there's not even a good example on this page. <laughs> um, oh, this one, de they needed something. Need is a verb. And how did they need? Desperately. So desperately gave more details to the needed. They didn't kind of need a kill. They desperately needed a kill. So if, as you're reading, if you wonder like five to seven of those, it will help you in understanding adverbs. I'm going to ask you to pause the video, read the story, and then come back, and we'll look at a couple more of these before you do your assignment. I'll see you on the other side. Don't forget to unpause your video once you've read the story. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. Let's look at a couple more. The man gently pushed aside the small brown dog. Now there are a couple descriptive words here. Small and brown describe the dog, but the dog is a noun. That means these two are adjectives because adjectives describe the dog, the noun, or in this case, the dog. The verb is, and I'll put a V under it, is pushed. How was it pushed? Gently. So gently will tell you how. And one more. Sci sometimes scientists reinterpret the facts differently. So our verb in this case is reinterpret, which means to rethink. And when does this, or so we have to figure out which word goes with it. Scientists don't reinterpret. I mean, they do, but scientist doesn't describe the verb. 
but sometimes does. And that gives you another one of the when. In your Google form today, you're going to have an opportunity to um, write down the verb from each of these, six through 10. And then you're going to also tell if it is how, when, or where. So if I was answering this, I would just put swiftly dash how. That's all you're gonna have to do to show that you have an understanding of it today. As always, the best way to receive this material is through our live sessions. These videos are intended to give a second look back or if you are absent for whatever reason. When, we're in, when you're live with the class, you can ask questions, you can make meaning with your peers, we work together. And I strongly encourage you to participate. But for now, go ahead and you're gonna head to that Google form. Hope you have a mental gizigad, minwa, bama pee.